Don? Thank goodness you're okay. I was worried that I just gave CPR to a corpse. You gave me CPR? That's right, big boy. Mouth to mouth. <laughs> oh, 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 okay, I'm good now. Um, where is everybody? We all got separated in the wave. But don't worry. If we lived, then I'm sure everyone else did too. Except for him. He's definitely dead. <laughs> 7.8. <coughs> Too much water. Alex, you're okay. Should I give him mouth to mouth? Why would you? He, he's conscious. Well, I think it's safe to say we saved the town. If by save the town you mean we drowned the f out of it, then you're absolutely right. Boy, this, this, this really wasn't a good idea, huh? Well, look on the bright side. At least all the ribots were destroyed and I don't have to give CPR to any of them. Okay. What is with you in the CPR thing? Don't pick on Don, Jake. That talent of his could save lives someday. Oh, don't justify this habit of his. Ugh, of course it's empty. I really needed some water, too. <laughs> hey, it's Rover! It sure is convenient we're all showing up in the same place. Rover, are you okay, buddy? Quick, how many fingers am I holding up? <laughs> is he okay? Should I give him- No! Maybe? I don't know. Oh, a sea bass. Who saw that coming? Okay, why does he sound like Smeagol passing a kidney stone? Oh, I remember now. What? Rover's allergic to fish. He's allergic to fish? Yep. That's pretty ironic with him, you know, being a cat and all. That's the joke. Hey. Tarantula! Ah! Giant metal wing! Uh-oh. What's the matter? It looks like you've all seen a ghost. Or maybe... a robot. Are we talking about ghosts in the shell? Uh, no, I was referring to me, because I'm a robot. God, you really love ruining the mood, don't you? Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, don't worry about it. Tell you what, I'll just kill you and your friends and then we'll be even. Hold on, let me consult with the guys first. <gasps> no. Well, the jury has come to a verdict. Okay, since no one is going to address the elephant in the room, I will. Blathers, how are you still alive? You should have had a short circuit just like all the other ribots. Well, I would have, but here's the plot twist for you. I'm waterproof! And the ribots weren't? Yep. So, uh, thanks for destroying my entire army I spent ages building. <laughs> what? How come you made yourself waterproof, but not the ribots? Oh, I'm sorry! I forgot that all evil scientists have a budget big enough to make a thousand goddamn ribots, let alone make them waterproof! So, how come you didn't make them waterproof? Jesus Christ, I was being sarcastic! I don't know who this sarcastic person is, but she doesn't sound very nice. You should just be yourself. Holy shit, okay, you die first. <laughs> I know I should be focused on killing Tarantula, but after the loss of my ribbons and the lack of possibility of being in a drought, I feel like giving him a swift death would be too merciful. So I'll give him a head start by ending your life first! Get away from him, you 80-story looking psychopath! Well, color me surprised! Tarantula, I didn't know you were capable of having compassion! What are you talking about? If you kill Alex, then who's gonna pay for my food? Well, isn't that... touching? But no matter! Brewster, be a sport and beat Tarantula within an inch of his life. When I'm through with his friends, I'll be sure to take care of the last inch myself. Okay, but like, I've been turning water for the last 20 minutes, so I'm gonna need a minute for these muscle grips to go away. Oh, uh, um, oh, sure, okay, but after you're all rested up, you promise me you'll almost kill Tarantula? Fine. Thank you. Promising to brutally injure my enemies for me. What a good friend. hi -ya! <laughs> Fuck! My hand! Did you just... Did you just try to hit me? I think I fractured my hand! Of course you did! I'm a bloody robot! Were you expecting my head to explode on impact or something? <laughs> well, as fun as it is to play 20 questions with a human whose only answer is to scream at me, I'll never figure out why you thought it was a good idea to try and punch me. I guess you could say it'll be a... 
Mystery. 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 Did someone say? So if no one is going to interrupt me, I guess I'll just destroy all of you. Huh? What the devil is that noise? Did somebody say mystery? <laughs> and who's this character? He looks like Biker Clan Mr. Clean. Oh, no, 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 we are, we are so dead. We are so dead. I'm going to be turned inside out and you're going to be turned into a tin can. Huh? Why? Because of the old guy over there? That's no old guy. That's Mr. Halford. He's going to do my hand fist mystery with you and, 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 and. He'll do what to me? He'll fist mystery with you. That, that's how he punishes those who oppose him. Fist mystery? What does that even mean? Mystery. Oh, Rover. <gasps> You're overdue on your sugar heart loan. <laughs> well, listen, if you apologize to me right now, I won't fist mystery with you. <laughs> well, I hear no apology, so I guess we gotta do this the hard way, or as I like to call it, the fun way. <laughs> I'm going to fist Mr. <laughs> that. That's fisting mystery. Good lord, that's sick! And he's going to try and do that to me? Not so much try and more of will. Lathers. Oh my god, he even knows my name. You've committed a terrible, terrible crime. You mean when I sent a full-fledged war on the town? What? No, I don't care about that. You said something very inappropriate. Oh, oh god, you were listening in on that conversation. Well, well look, I, I don't actually have anything against penguins. I just, I think that as an owl, I'm better because I can, I can fly and they can't. Not that either, you penguinist. You said the M word. Mitochondria? No! Mystery! Thou shalt not say mystery in vain. Only when you speak of me fisting mystery can you use the sacred word. You're joking, right? That might be the dumb- <laughs> ah! Ow! How can I even feel pain? I'm made of metal for crying out loud! That was just a taste of my fist. Now get ready for the mystery part. Whoa, 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 wait, wait a second! Can't we make a deal or something? Sorry, sonny boy. But the only negotiations I deal in are with sugar hearts. Sugar hearts? Is, is that straight for cocaine? Because I'm not well informed when it comes to new lingo. Actual sugar hearts, boy. The sweet candy you give that special someone. Ha! Huh. Actual sugar hearts, you say? Well then, looks like there'll be no fisting mystery for me today. Okay, what? Well, I'll be a rock and roll woman for a rock and roll man. That's quite a bundle of sugar hearts. Indeed. I've always had a sweet tooth from a young age, so it's very convenient that I built this body to dispense candy on command. Yeah, really convenient. So what do you say, Mr. Halford? I'll give you these sugar hearts, and in exchange, you don't do that thing you do. You drive a hard bark deal. And just like that, our chances of living drop back down to zero. Mr. Halford, how could you? When the world needed you most, you turned a blind eye for candy. Well, this isn't the first time I looked the other way for a bag of candy. Remember the Louisiana Purchase? No. Well listen, boy. It breaks my heart to see a fan cry. So I'm gonna use my Metal Gun Powers to give you the advantage in this fight. How does that work? Well, I would tell you, but only my fists know the answer. So I'm just gonna have to fist mystery with your brain. I didn't even I'm know that was possible. <laughs> I know what I must do now. Also, I can't hear out my left ear. Ah, that'll wear off in a couple of weeks. Or months. Bye. Jake, Tarantula, Don, I'm gonna need a favor from you guys. Oh my god, Alex. We are not, for the last time, pitching in to help you buy a Roomba. Why not? Oh, wait, that, that's not what I'm talking about. I know how to defeat Blathers. You do? Yeah. Mr. Halford fisted mystery with my brain, and now I know how to defeat Blathers. I also know how to get away with tax fraud. 
I think he may have given me that one by mistake. Or did he? Well, if you know how to stop him, we'll help you. I was hoping you'd say that. I just need you to hold him off for me while I go do something. Do what? I need to get a thing. What thing? The thing that'll defeat Blathers! Come on, weren't you listening? <laughs> Thanks for the encouragement, Rover. Excuse me, but did I hear you say you were planning on bailing? <laughs> I'm sorry, but the only ones leaving here are your souls from your goddamn bodies! God, that sounded stupid. Hey, Blathers, what does A-L-E-X-I-S-G-O-N-E -E spell? E-X-I-S-G- Wait a minute! Damn it! I've been bamboozled! You know, for a scientist, you sure don't catch on quickly. And now you're back to being number one on the kill list. Brewster, shall we take out the trash? Ugh, now we gotta take out some garbage on top of killing these guys? Oh, you mean they're the garbage. I'm up to my head in morons. You and me both. Hello? Anyone there? You got my order of manga? Uh, no. Then go away. I'm not opening the door for you. Darn it! I need her to let me get into the building. Think, Alex. Think. Oh, jeez. This is usually anyone else's job. Oh! Uh, hey, so you must like anime, right? What's it to ya? Well, uh, dubs are better than subs. The f*** did you just say? Hi, I'm Alex. Who are you? Listen, buddy. I take my anime very seriously. You better take back what you said about dubs and subs. I need your help. Of course you do. I need to convert you into a sub watcher. A actually, I'm here about blathers. <laughs> How are you so strong? How do you know about blathers? He's sort of trying to kill me and my friends. <sighs> of course he is. Did he tell you about me? Actually, a bald god fisted my brain and I knew to come here. So, can you help me? <sighs> yes, come in. Also, don't touch my anime DVDs. So how do you know Blathers? Isn't it obvious? You're his sister? No, I'm his sister. Oh, you got it right on the first try. What exactly is this place? It's my lab. Like my brother, I'm a scientist. Only difference is, I use my scientific knowledge to benefit the world. How so? I'm able to decipher which pairings in my favorite TV shows are canon. That sounds like it's only helping you. Better than what my brother's doing. Speaking of which, my newest weapon that'll stop him is almost complete. Does the weapon make him rust or something? Rust? Why would he- Oh my shit, did he go through with that robot thing? Oh my god. He wanted to be a robot ever since we were kids. I didn't think he was stupid enough to go through with it though. Well, anywho. While this weapon wasn't built to physically harm Blathers, it can emotionally harm him. It looks like Tarantula. Oh, oh, are we gonna trick Blathers into thinking that's Tarantula's dad and threaten to have your guy's parents talk things out with him? That, that's a very specific scenario. No, this is a bug controlling machine. With this helmet, you will have the power to manipulate the minds of any bug within the 30 foot radius. And with this power, I can make a bunch of bugs form the shape of yours and Blather's parents so that they can talk things out with him. What is wrong with you? My brother has a crippling fear of insects thanks to your tarantula friend. Use the bugs to scare the bolts off of him and make him leave. I like that idea better because it involves scarring someone. Wait, if Blathers is so scared of bugs, why isn't he afraid of tarantula? Well, you didn't hear this from me, but after Blathers saw tarantula the other day, he helped me help desensitize him to spiders and tarantulas exclusively. The Black Widow. Oh no, it's hideous! Ah, oh, it's no wonder it's a widow. She's too scary to find love. The Goliath Bird Eater. Ah, oh, wh what do you mean? That ugly son of a bitch eats birds? I'm a bird! Does that mean it can eat me? Gross! The Peacock Spider. Ah, uh, oh, oh. Uh, this little villain's actually rather adorable. Colorful too. <laughs> look at it with his little arms in the air. This is only what the males look like. Here's what the females look like. Ah! Listen, Alex. By accepting this helmet, you are agreeing to put your life on the line to defeat the greatest evil you will face in your life. Are you willing to accept this? Sure, why not? Good. 
Cause you're gonna go down in history as the human who saved this village! But not for another ten minutes. The helmet's still booting up. Oh. Yeah. So, uh... Wanna watch some anime to kill time? Don't you mean a nime? I'm gonna educate the f*** out of you. <laughs> Ramen's done! <laughs> Wait, so Sakura still loves Sasuke despite him treating her like garbage? She has no respect for herself. Oh snap, Crackle and Pop! I forgot! The helmet! It's been up and ready to go for the last 14 minutes! I better go put it on! After this episode. Yes, definitely. <laughs> Between you and me, I think your voice is really annoying. And between you and me, I think your voice is annoying and unoriginal. Oh, that is it. Uh, oh, lathers. What is it, Brewster? Did you kill Tarantula? Because you know how badly I wanted to do that, and I swear to God. No, look. <gasps> Oh my goodness! A stranger! Brewster, who is this? Uh, I feel like we were misled by that dramatic reveal. Okay, hi, I know you guys are in the middle of something right now, but has anybody seen a blue stapler? It was- it was my wife's stapler, she loved it very much. N nobody nobody has seen a blue stapler? Alright, well, my wife is gonna leave me. That's great. I'm just gonna- I'm gonna- I'm gonna look over here. Wow. That guy was ugly. Oh yeah, and I'm back now. Ah, welcome back, Alex. I see that you couldn't leave your friends behind and decided to come back. But not before you changed hats. But really, what are you wearing? What he's wearing, dear brother, is your demise. Celeste? Is that you? What are you doing with that simpleton? Oh, not much. Just helping him ruin your plans. Nothing serious. What? Why? When you destroyed the whole town, my shipment of Naruto plushies were destroyed in the wreckage. And now, I'll never forgive you! That's your motive? Because I accidentally destroyed some of your Chinese cartoon merchandise?! Okay, first of all, it's Japanese, not Chinese. And second, anime is not a cartoon. Is it hand-drawn? Yeah. Then it's a cartoon, Celeste! Ooh! Alex, use the helmet! Get ready, Blathers, because your whole world's about to turn upside down in a creepy crawly mess! <laughs> oh, why are there no bugs? There should be bugs! Maybe they got all washed out in the flood. Flood? What, was burning the place down not good enough for you? Well, actually, they flooded the town. What? Were you guys saving the town or helping him destroy it? Like I said earlier, it was not a good idea. I'm still not sure what you're trying to do, but whatever it is, I won't let you succeed! Ah. Well, I think it's time I hit the old dusty trail. Kind of not in the mood to get my head blown off. If that dusty trail has any bugs in it, then yes, go there. And hey, if you can't find any dusty trail, check the mountains. Are you coming on to me? Oh, for fuck's sake, look for bugs in the mountains! Oh, that's a great idea! I need to fill the gaps in my bug collection. I can't believe I entrusted that helmet to him. Dubs are better than subs! Ah ha ha ha! Can't argue with me if I'm running away! I'm mom's favorite. Bugs, bugs, gotta find bugs. Where are all the bugs? Bugs! Eeeh, what's up, dear? Not you! Writing at its finest. <laughs> Ow, you son of a. Whoa. Tarantula, what are you doing here? I don't know. I just had the sudden urge to come to your rescue. It's the helmet, you sack! Of stupidity! I like to think it was the strength of our friendship. It was definitely the helmet. So that's what that silly helmet does. Well, Alex, it's a good thing that brain damage has clearly been applied to you in the past. Because I'm gonna destroy that helmet while it's still wrapped around your giant head! <coughs> Whoa, Brewster, you don't look so good. What's the matter, buddy? Lack of air of high altitude? Exhausted from running? Cryptococcal meningitis? Whoa, whoa, whoa there, brothers. Gotta stop all that spinning, bruh. What on earth are you doing? You know, 
I've poisoned a lot of people before, but I've never been poisoned myself. I'm kind of jealous. <laughs> Trust me, Tarantula, nothing about getting poisoned by you was fun. But hey, if you're really curious how the turmoil felt, I can help you with a similar pain, right under my talons. <laughs> intelligence, you've managed to survive this long against a mastermind such as myself, and that alone is worth punishing. Now no more tricks, no more last second rescues, and no more distract- Ah! The ladybug! No. No, 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 let's not be hasty, Alex! Now, Alex, you don't want this! Well, sure I do. After all, you bug me. Ah, not the bees! Ah, butterflies! Beetles! Ah, I don't even like classic rock! Make it stop! Huh? No, get out of there! You're tearing up my wires, you tiny demons! Ah, this can't be the way I go out! Defeated by ants! Gosh, Blathers, it looks like you've got ants in your pants. F*** off. Did you just... Did you just kill my brother? Wasn't that the plan all along? No, I just wanted to get some old-fashioned sibling revenge on him. You just straight up murdered him. Well, let's not get ahead of ourselves. What do you mean? Ah! Ow! Damn it! I can't feel my legs! Get it? A head? Because I saw his head? Blathers, you're alive. Oh, and no one cares. Of course I am! Why wouldn't I be? Also, why can't I feel my legs still? And why is everyone so much taller? Oh my god, my body! Jeez, Blathers, you really need to get your head in the game. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you gotta be fucking kidding me. Don't think this is over yet! I might just be ahead now, but once I roll back to my lab, I can switch back into my original body and be out of here before sundown! Ha ha ha! Ow! The second coming has came for the second time, man. Hey, hey! Where? Nah, I'm just playing with you guys. <laughs> KK! Yeah, man. Where's my fucking catnip? Wait, KK, I thought you were shot and killed. Nope. Oh, well, I guess so. Confusion aside, what are we gonna do about Blathers? I got an idea. I could keep him as a Halloween decoration and scare the trick-or-treaters, man. They're not getting my candy this time. We could use him as a ball for whenever we play sports. Do you even play any sports? Do you? Oh, touche. Well, I don't know about you guys, but I kind of made peace with when I thought I blew him up. I second that. We could finish the job right now. No! What my brother did was terrible, so he should pay for it with his time. The cops are already returning after helping the survivors evacuate, so let's hand him over to the cops and they'll take it from there. So, Blather stays a severed head locked away in a cell for life? Sounds fair to me. Guys, I think before we give Blathers to the cops, we should put him back in his body. What? what? Tarantula, are you sure? Yeah, I am. Although Blathers may have been a weird kid, that doesn't justify the way I treated him. I pushed him to the edge and made him snap, which made him take it out on everyone else. Jake, I was thinking about what you told me about growing up and moving on. And that's what I'm doing now. Blathers will have to atone for his crimes, but at least he can do them as himself and not as a machine. He's an evil scientist because of me, but maybe, just maybe, 
His debt to society will reform him. Okay, I'm going to have to interrupt your half assed moral speech. I'm not an evil scientist because of you. You're not? No! I wanted to be an evil scientist for as long as I can remember. You just got on my nerves and I wanted to retaliate. So, you were always going to be an evil scientist, regardless of the way I treated you? Yes! Oh, well then forget everything I just said. I've learned nothing! Come on, Blathers. Let's get you back in your body. We don't want you heading to jail with no body. Oh, don't you start! Hey, Don. Where did your brother go? Oh my god, Sonny! Oh. Huh? What? Where is everyone? Where is everything? Oh, snap! I'm lost again! Oh, no! I'm all alone! There's no one to talk to! No one to annoy me! No one to... To interrupt my peace! Ha ha ha! Goodbye, responsibilities, and hello, meditation! Was that a shark just now? You're going downtown, buddy. But I destroyed downtown. And it's underwater. You're going somewhere else, buddy. So, KK, how about we show the gang how we celebrate with a little bit of the nip? Sorry, over, but the party's rover. What do you mean? I gotta go, man. In order to be a hero or a musician, I gotta go where I am needed if I'm not needed. Even if I don't know where if I don't know what that is, man. And how will you know where to go? Like I always say, I go wherever the water current takes me, man. <laughs> Sup, man? Yo. Dude. Well, I gotta go search for my brother. Knowing him, he's probably avoiding coming back. I ain't paying that electricity bill on my own, Sonny. So... I'd say I'm gonna go home, but I'm pretty sure that's not possible unless I grow some gills. Then we'll fix that right now. Who are you? Hi, I'm Isabel. I'm the mayor's secretary. Uh, um, hi. I'm Tarantula. Um, sorry if I look like I'm a mess. <laughs> I've been working at the gym all day. You folks lost your home in the attack, too? Right. Well, there's no need to worry. With the guidance of our mayor, Totemore, we'll be okay. Mayor? Mayor? Huh? Where am I? Wait, did I miss the Doris Day concert? Huh? What happened to the town? Looks like the flood of 27 all over again. Oh. Wait a minute. I found you out here after Blathers was arrested. Have you... Have you been asleep here this entire time? Did you seriously sleep through the attack and the flood completely unscathed? I don't know, but what I do know is I could listen to Mark Twain tell me the story of Tom Sawyer again. How old are you? You'll have to save story time for later, Mayor. Right now the village needs you. Me? Yes. It may take a long time to rebuild our community and restore it back to its former glory. But with your vigilance, guidance, and patience, we know you can help guide our way to recovery. You're our leader, and we're ready to listen to your ideas on how to fix our community. Well, dearie, a wise old man once said, if you're not paying attention to your job, then retire and live on an island. Uh, who was the wise old man who said that? Me! Later, losers. I'm gonna go get me a tan. Huh. Sup, man? Yo. This... this is horrible. We don't have a mayor. Who's going to guide us now? <gasps> oh no.
Gather around, everyone. I've been doing a lot of thinking, seven minutes actually, and I think I found a solution to this water problem. Now I know what you're going to say. Mayor Alex, why don't we just drink all the water? That'll get rid of it. And the answer is simple. I already tried that, and I got very sick. So here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna toss this lone sponge into the water, and then it'll absorb the whole flood. Yeah. Direct hit! And now, we wait.